Since the first batch of medical graduates back in 1986, our faculty has nurtured over 10,000 alumni who are now serving in different aspects within the medical industry, both in Hong Kong and around the world. Well, after studying medicine in Chinese U, the key thing I have learned is how to help become a good doctor. Not just a good doctor in terms of professional competence, but more importantly, uh, to be a good doctor in the eyes of patients and their relatives. Our founding dean, Professor Jared Choi, likes to talk with us about all sorts of things. He's a very kind person, full of wisdom, not very approachable, but he has a heart to all the students. I would uh, use the word family. When I was graduated, CHK is still very young, so there are not that many professors. A lot of the time, it's actually graduates from our senior classes who become our teacher. Actually, I heard that CUHK Medicine had a very supportive faculty and I wanted to go to a medical school that was supportive of the students. After a year of studying at the CUHK Nursing School, it opened my eyes to realizing that there are more roles and positions a nurse can play. I think to be a good Chinese medicine practitioner, you need to be very caring and have a very clear mind. The most unforgettable moments will be the white coat ceremony. When I read the white coat, I would just remind myself that I would be a good pharmacist. Science has been my field of interest since young age, and especially medical sciences after I've selected biology in my secondary school years. Now I would like to pursue a medical research career after my graduation. Yeah, I just want to be a good physician, and to me that means I'm able to explore throughout my university life, and I think CU and especially GPS really gives me that opportunity. And right now I'm doing some research work related to the healthcare system. And I do hope that the result of the research can improve the healthcare system in Hong Kong. As a skilled practitioner, you have a duty to share those skills and knowledge so that there is continuity. I think we have a lifetime impact because we get people who are very young, very inexperienced, and we are going to teach them and impress upon them how to deal with life and death issues. And I think that is transformative. Despite we have a relatively short history, the Medical School of CUHK has achieved quite a few regional and world firsts in some of the clinical research as well as uh, basic science research. Our diagnosis and treatment of liver cancer, gastric cancer, um, lung, as well as nasopharyngeal cancer are really pioneering in the field. In 1997, my group was the first in the world to discover the presence of fetal DNA in maternal blood. Since then, we have actually transformed this observation into a new technology of non-invasive prenatal diagnosis. And this technology has now been introduced into over 90 countries and used by millions of pregnant women. I can see that in the future, our faculty will focus on area of our strengths and to enhance this further. And one of the main areas in our uh, faculty is translational genomics, and that is how one can transform genomic advances into tests and treatments that will benefit the patients. In my integrated year, I work on novel diagnostic tests for a prenatal diagnosis, and uh, later pursue my PhD degree in uh, single cell genomics in Cambridge. And now I want to merge these two approaches. Diabetes is a major global public health problem. Currently, more than 400 million people in the world have diabetes. Our research on diabetes here at CUHK will have great implication on the management of diabetes in China. So our goal is to develop a panel of tests and biomarkers that will revolutionize the way we treat patients with diabetes. We believe that our research will not only benefit patients with diabetes in Hong Kong, but also across China and the rest of Asia and beyond. For many years, I have admired the work that is ongoing, your research, and all the innovations that come from your excellent Faculty of Medicine. I am very confident that you will continue to do this excellent work in the next 35 years. CU Medicine has been a very key contributor to the development of healthcare in Hong Kong, China, and beyond through the education, research, and community service. The alumni have been well recognized locally and internationally for their professionalism and integrity.
We strive to be the best international academic institution in Asia. Students are our future. And so, our first important ongoing project is to nurture future medical leaders in research, education and humanitarian work. The other very exciting project is our private teaching hospital. We will pioneer a new model of healthcare to provide quality and affordable service to our Hong Kong citizens. And I would like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to our donors, friends, colleagues, teachers and alumni for their unfailing support to the medical faculty over the years. We look forward to your continuing support.